Hello everyone and welcome back to Miss Moves Models. Uh, today is going to be a quick inbox review video uh, and it's going to be a kit that I bought when I was at the model show at, um, held by IPMS Shropshire uh, RF Costard last weekend uh, and it's going to be done because basically um, Ian from uh, UK Scale Modeler uh, said he looked, liked the look of the kit and I said would you like me to do a quick review and he said yes please. So the kit that we're on about is this kit here, which is the Hobby Boss um, Rafal B. It's a 172 scale kit, uh, and uh, we'll get the cameras moved around, uh, so looking down at the bench, uh, and then we'll get cracking on with the review for you guys. So here we are. Uh, this is the Hobby Boss uh, Rafal B. Um, it is a 172 scale kit by Hobby Boss. Uh, we've got some nice box art there with uh, a nice tiger meat markings on it. This is the two seater Rafal. Uh, so on top here we've got uh, a few details about the kit. We've got its length uh, which is 213 millimeters. Uh, the wingspan is 142 millimeters. Uh, and it says ages plus and 172 scale. Uh, just bring that onto the overhead camera here. You can see on the side we've got uh, a little bit of blur about the foul and two options for the schemes here. Both of them are tiger meats and they're both absolutely stunning. Uh, this kit I got from Models for Sale uh, at uh, the IPMS show. Um, from the IPMS Shropshire show at Cossard last weekend. Uh, 10 quid for the kit, I think that was a pretty good bargain. The kit number is 87245. Uh, and then on the back here we've got a load of blurb in, uh, I'm guessing it's Chinese is it, or Japanese, anyway, um, I'm not quite sure language. Uh, a couple of top views from the, uh, the decal schemes. So, moving around, uh, so, it's over here. We have got instructions uh, and decals. Then we've got uh, screws, not in individual bags, but they're kept separate. So we've got one, two, three, four bags with the screws. And then, uh, as you can see here, the, um, the model comes in quite a, a nicely packaged uh, manner here. So, what we're going to do is we will start with the decals and the instructions and have a quick look at those first and foremost. Uh, so it's starting on your head camera here. Um, separate marking schemes, quite nice. Uh, decals here, which once again quite nice. Uh, so let's start with the uh, instructions. On the front, generic hobby boss, sort of the typical hobby boss presentation, and then we fold out. So hobby boss kits are generally sort of thought to be sort of relatively easy assembled kits um, but um, doesn't mean they haven't got good detail. Uh, so we start as pretty much every single aircraft in the whole modelling world uh, with a cockpit. Uh, so we've got call outs for the paints and these are in uh, Mr Hobby colour and Mr Hobby Aquas call outs. So we're putting the cockpit together uh, and then popping the cockpit into the top half of the fuselage. Um, and then adding uh, a few bits and bobs here, so we're adding um, some detail on the nose, uh, the vertical stabiliser, uh, getting the engines ready here, drilling out some holes for ordnance I'm guessing. Um, this here, I'm not quite sure what that is. Not quite sure what F2, that's not very clear. Uh, then the second part is we are popping in the front canard, uh, the main gear wells. Uh, and the main gear, bringing the top and bottom halves of the fuselage and wings together. Uh, and then we're carrying on working on with some more detailed things, the arrestor hook, uh, which I'm not sure whether... No, that is a correct one, yeah, that is a correct one. Uh, the valve out M's got a different one. Uh, the in-flight fueling probe, the landing gears, and some lumps and bulbs and air scoops. Uh, third step here is popping the uh, canopy on, uh, which by the looks of it we can have open or closed uh, and then we are putting on uh, pylons for the weapons um, last step here is bringing the ordnance together so uh, in the box we've got some Apache um, cruise missiles which is basically a variant of Storm Shadow but it's got a um, um, cluster bomb unit for uh, attacking runways uh, it's got the Mika missiles with either the electromagnetic or the infrared uh, options, so that's good. 
Uh, we've got fuel tanks, got two types, we've got the 2000 litres and the 1250 litre mile, so that's not bad options in terms of weapons. And then on the back here is just a spoon map. Couple of call outs here, so we've got uh, the first scheme here is from the French Air Force. Uh, I'm not what sure of the 330EE, I'm guessing it's a serial number of the aircraft at the 2006 NATO Tiger Meet. And the call outs in these uh, are given in Mr. Hobby, Vallejo, Model Master, Timmy, and Humble. So that's quite nice. Um, they got a good option there, good various options for the, uh, the paints. The second uh, one that we've got is. Um, Another Tiger Meet 2006, uh, and this has got a stunning uh, Eye of Tiger um, scheme, it's called. And it's also got all the paint schemes for the weapons. Right. Decals, 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 decals. So we've got two sheets of decals here. Um, so that's interesting. I've got two bags, so let's have a look at these. Open both of them up now. Right. So let's start with the uh, probably the most mark, uh, the most um, appealing marking, which is uh, this here. I'm just going to bring the camera in a little bit closer, and we'll refocus there. There we go, right. So, as you can see, uh, some stunning decals here um, for the Eye of the Tiger uh, call out. Um, the decals themselves feel quite thick, um, and I think that getting these on would be quite a challenge. I'm not sure what the best process would be to go about if you're going down on this big one, whether it'd be something like maybe you're trying to cut it down. I'm not, I'm not sure. But the quality of the decal looks really nice, they're well printed, uh, I'm not sure who they're by, it doesn't say, uh, but they certainly look nice colours, all look in register, and there's some great detail on the, uh, on the, uh, the, the those tiger markings, so I'm quite happy with that one. Then we've got, so I'm again bringing in a bit closer, there we go. So this here is the, um, the cockpit decals, uh, and then we've got weapon markings, um, we've got the French cookard, the roundels, uh, and sort of uh, some stenciling. Once again, look quite nice, um, not too shiny, well, no sorry, quite shiny, uh, not too flat, which is quite nice. Um, so, should go down alright, hopefully. And the last one that we've got in the decals here is uh, some more stenciling by the looks of it. Yeah, so more stenciling uh, and smaller stenciling and the serial numbers for the aircraft uh, and some uh, little lumps and bumps there. So, decals look alright. Um, certainly give us a, a good variety. Uh, what we're going to do here is we are just going to get a blade. There we go. And we'll pop these bags open one by one. So this screw here is um I'll be doing let's just back out the camera a little bit. There we go, right. Just checking the focus. Okay, so this one here, this screw is vertical stabilizer and lumps and bumps and air intakes. Um there's no flash whatsoever on the sprue. Uh, the details look quite nice, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure whether we'll be able to make this out. Bringing it to the top here, uh, we've got some nice riveting detail on the uh, vertical stabilizer there. You might be able to make it out. Overall, uh, looks quite nice. Got some nice internal detail on the um, the uh, main undercarriage here. Um, once again, not sure how well you're going to make that out there. So that's quite nice. Some lumps and bumps in there. So that looks rather good. Next screw bag we'll do is this one. Two screws in this bag, um, and this is the weapon screws. So we'll start with this one here. 
the sprue here has got the uh, magic missiles and Mika missiles on it and your patching missiles um, and they look okay the, the magic missiles look a little bit a bit clumsy maybe a little bit big the Mika missiles look quite nice though and the patching missiles I'm sure make uh, quite a nice uh, rendition of the uh, the cruise missile once it's all built together so that looks quite good uh, just bring it to the overhead so yeah all in all that looks rather good the fuel tank sprue um, it's quite nice to have the the two types the um, both the the larger fuel tanks and the smaller ones uh, you'd have to check your references here as to which one's being carried I think if you're doing an operational bird uh, they tend to carry the, the large fuel tanks um, and I think they might even carry three large fuel tanks one under each wing and one on the centre pylon um, but you could certainly do two uh, and maybe uh, a smaller fuel tank on the centre pylon I'm wondering whether that's an option but yeah, no, it looks okay. The sprue that we've got here in the sprue bag we've got is going to be, I'm guessing, ejector seats and undercarriage and stuff like that. Yeah, so here we have got two sprues. Um, let's say, so undercarriage, uh, landing gear, wheels, and everything like that. Um, the wheels look fantastic, uh, it's a nice detail straight out of the box um, uh, and I don't think you're going to need to replace those, they look absolutely fine. Ejector seats, um, they're in multiple parts, they're not one part moulded, uh, they've got some fair amount of detail on there. I'm not uh, an expert in ejector seats uh, but I have heard, well I have seen online people saying that it's not an accurate rendition of the, uh, the Martin Baker Mark 16 that's in the roof I think it is. To me, it looks like a bang seat. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Um, the instrument panels look quite nice. Uh, that, that one looks very nice. The, uh, the, I'm guessing that's the, the forward instrument panel. So no, the, the, those lumps and bumps and, um, and details there look absolutely fine to me. Cockpit um, here has got some nice detail just inside it. Um, just going to try and bring it up to the overhead camera so you see where you can shoot it there. So you've got some nice little raised details there which will probably pick up with a nice little dry brush. If you're going to put the decals down, I think it's going to be wise to try and sand it down before you put the decals on. Uh, I'm not sure which way I'll go with this when I come around to build it. And just bring it up here so you can see the, the wheels hopefully catch the... Uh, there we go, let's try and bring the light onto it a little bit better. Um, try and catch the detail there. So no, they look lovely. Um, okay, you're going to have a seam to uh, take care of but something that's quite easy to, to just sort out of a uh, sand sponge anyway. So the last screw bag uh, to open is the clear parts. Um, they look very nice, uh, very very nice, nice and clear, uh, nice and transparent. I'm not sure about distortion on them, but they, they, they do look rather nice. Just bring it up to the top camera here, so yeah. No, they look, look, look very nice to me. Um, to be honest, I don't even think that they're going to need a dip in clear. I think that they're, they're, they'll be absolutely fine. Um, they'll try and catch a light on them. So yeah, that, that's a lovely, lovely little sprue. Uh, I'm going to put that aside so I don't scratch it. And finally, the last bit to check out is going to be, um, so the actual the fan itself. Um, so this is how it comes packaged. Um, it's an interesting way to package things if you ask me. But um, how it is. So just let me run the, the scalpel around here and then we'll try and get the aircraft out. So a bit of faff to get the um, to get your model out but I suppose it keeps it secured in transport, that's one thing for sure. Um, and we've got some nice little protection here on the front of it, there we go, right. So the one thing about these Hobby Boss kits, which is really quite nice, is because they are, I'm not going to say an easy assemble, but they they fit together really well, on, on my in my experience, because they're quite simple in a way, um, that you've just got the, the fuselage and wings melted together. Uh, at, 
molded together and the finish is really nice on this is that with the Rafale you've got all these curves just around here where the wing meets the fuselage as that's all molded in one piece you're not going to have any seam joints that you're going to have to sort out so that's always a bonus um, the actual detail itself is quite nice um, it's got some nice uh, scribed uh, recess panel lines there uh, and I think it'll take a wash quite nicely um, just checking it out there we go so no, I think I think that looks very much like the part to me um, uh, and has some fantastic detail. So just going up to the overhead camera and we'll try and capture some of that detail and light. I don't know whether we'll be able to see it that well. But um, there you go. So it's got all all the uh, the panel lines just here. Um, and then we've got uh, various access hatches, I'm guessing, and rivets. Uh, and same underneath. Got some fantastic detail there. So that's all good. Um, yeah, quite impressive that to be honest. Uh, and as I say, the the fit should be pretty damn good, hopefully. And it looks quite nice here. So if you're looking just down the, the side here where it joins together, this would be a nightmare to try and get a good to get rid of that seam line sanding it would be an absolute nightmare. So I'm hoping that this will just come together quite nicely with some to me extra thin glue and jobs are good. Um, we're just gonna have to sort out that there's got a little blemish i'm thinking that's probably where the injection port was um for the injection molding but overall no it looks fantastic so um you've seen what's in the, the sprues uh, i'm going to put the camera back around have a bit of chit chat about it and let you know what i think about it so guys there you have the uh one to seven two scale the foul beat This is about my third take of doing this video, so my voice is getting a bit dry, so quick cup of tea. Um, yeah, I think it's a, a lovely looking kit. Um, it looks like it should go together quite nicely. Uh, has some nice details in there, which is, which is really good uh, for 72 scale. The decals look a bit daunting to me. Um, Hobby Boss decals, are, I've sort of like had a bit of experience with in the past, and it's not always been a great experience in the in my ex from from previous attempts with them, shall we say, um, I was doing this F18 as a Blue Angels, and originally it had uh, a big long yellow decal to come down the back of the spine here, and it all shattered and went horribly wrong. So uh, it's all taken back to Primer and redone as a Canadian one, and uh, that went down a lot nicer uh, and a lot better. So if those decals on the Rafale or anything like the decals on this, it'll be fine. If it's anything like the Blue Angel decals, you could be into trouble. Um, from my point of view, I'm going to be using some aftermarket decals anyway, so it's not going to be an issue. Um, so yeah, I would recommend this kit to anybody who, who wants a modern French Air Force jet uh, in the Rafale. Um, and uh, as far as I'm aware, it's the only Rafale B in the scale anyway, so it's not like you've got much choice. Uh, Hobby Boss also to do the C and the M, the C being the single seater Air Force version and the M being the single seater Marine Nationale French Navy um, version. The M version you can also get from Ravel and Italieri but they're really old kits and not very nice so uh, Hobby Boss is definitely the way to go for Ravels in the scale. Um, so with that um, I'm going to wrap up the video guys and say thank you very much for following along. Uh, let me know what you think about the kit. Uh, in the comments below if you want to uh, and if you do I'll try and get back to you I always try to reply um, I appreciate every single time somebody puts a like or a comment on the video it, that's sort of how you get an interaction out of these um, so that's all really great um, so as always thank you very much for everybody who follows uh, who likes subscribes and I hope you have uh, some good time at the bench in the, in the near future and I'm going to wish you some happy modeling take care guys bye